And we can go in and start to define these, um, these roots a little bit. A couple of good little tools for that. Um, again, creating a custom tool here, we can take advantage of some more, uh, any of the different tools. We have default in Mudbox, you'll find a knife tool in here. And that's just using a simple TIFF image that cuts through the surface. Um, I've actually created my own custom knife, and there's a there are a bunch of them available on the um, Mudbox community site that you can use. Um, a bunch of different things. There's also lots of different little bevels and things like that, folds and, and different undercuts like that that you can use with a VDM to kind of undercut um, these root structures here. What I'm going to do before I get into really detailing that um, there is just kind of define the edges a little bit by pulling them out as we go. Smooth that out a bit. Break that up a little bit more. And then we'll grab our um, our vine tool here. And that might be a little bit small. Kind of work in kind of a tendon-like structure or a bit of the root that um, a little more defined along the crust of it there. You got these kind of intertwined. Structures going here. Maybe carry these loosely kind of back along the main root here towards the tree a bit. And then with this is here, this here as well, while we're in here with this um, tool, we can start to kind of define some of these root-like uh, structures moving along here. Let's, I'm going to undo that and change up my fall off. Let's try this fall off here. There we go. We get a nice smooth effect with that one. So I just changed the fall off from the full fall off there. So I was getting those kind of step kind of stepping look there. And I just put a bit of a smooth fall off between the the uh, tube stamp itself to give me a little bit of a smoother fall off. So this here, a little less defined root structure, but still something happening here nonetheless. We'll grab, work that into the eye a bit. Coming out of the nostril, so Definitely play around here and go with a variety of different effects on this. And start to fill these little gaps in here with some roots, kind of give it a maybe an almost veiny kind of root like look. We just keep building in some of these little structures in here. Um, what we want to do now is let's move into um, some teeth. So I'm going to take my wax brush again. Uh, no mirroring again. We're going to use some, we want some different symmetry on this. And all I'm going to do here is just grow, kind of build up that material a bit. I just want a piece of this area here to kind of bulge out a bit. We can use our bulge tool, of course, for this. I'm just going to build up some material out here that just kind of sticks or protrudes out a little bit. And we can start to kind of smooth that out a bit. Get it kind of an angled or weathered down kind of tooth there. I'm going to take my grab brush and actually position that a little bit. And I'll just kind of bend it up. We can kind of pull it up here as well. Push this up a little bit. We'll do the same thing over here with our wax brush. Start to define maybe a tooth down in this area here that we want to build up. 
do that one there a little bit sharp. Smoothing them out a bit. There we go, and just kind of add that material in there. And then we can take our grab brush here again. And maybe pull this tooth in a bit. Bring it in towards the head a little bit. That's fine. Maybe pull it down in length here as well. Actually, the whole portion of the upper jaw we'll work with here. Just kind of deform that down a little bit. And if we take our wax brush, we can kind of put some definition in around the top of this here. Build this up a little bit. Make some subtle changes, maybe not so bold in there. So again, just using the control key to inverse, and then my shift for smoothing as I go here. We'll come back and we'll scrape this up as we go. Build that tooth out a little bit. Same with here, maybe bulge it out a bit where it's protruding out of his jaw and define it a bit with the inverse around there. Maybe we'll bring one more, just one more tooth, tooth-like structure over here, something kind of large. There we go, we just kind of pull this down a bit. Okay, so getting maybe a little bit too carried away with building up the teeth here. So let's move on to, we'll just grab the scrape brush here and we'll just kind of define these down a little bit. Weather them up a little bit, sharpen the edges a little bit. Um, kind of chisel them up. There we go, and then I think what we'll do is just throw a bit of random scrapes around this area here that I've worked with. Kind of beat it up a little bit more again. Get a little bit smaller in there. There we go, just give us a little bit of a beaten up effect once again on there. And then with the grab brush, of course, we can take a look back here now and maybe we want to defo further deform that jaw or that face a bit, right? Maybe distort them a little bit here. And with doing this, with this distortion here, we're going to take a look at this here, um, I think in the next video, but you could certainly use the pose tools here as a sculpting tool. We're going to do that on one of the arms here shortly. But by all means, you could use this, grab some of the pose tools and use them as a sculpting tool for scaling or deformation, twisting effects, different things like that. Great way to distort something. But for really quick things like this, the grab brush will certainly, certainly do the trick for what uh, I'm trying to do here. Okay, I think we're going to stop here. Um, in the next video, we're going to take a step ahead here with a little more bolder definition and things like that and move into working with um, uh, over to this kind of club-like arm structure in here.